There you go, now you can hear me. Hello everyone! <laughs> okay, let's get rid of that one. Everyone's early. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's paint night. I'm expecting a lot of people. This one's very popular. Hello from Seashell BC. Hello, Glenda. I wanted to say a special hi to Marla, who was very early. <laughs> and to Lisa, who has her first time. Welcome, welcome. And Brenda, she is also from British Columbia, also first time. I love that. Tina is here. Uh, Terry is here. She's from Idaho. Seashell, Glenda. Uh, is it Welland? Uh, Ontario? O-N? Hello, Frida. <laughs> I love it. Patty is here. Hello. She is from Port Moody. I will be in Port Moody possibly maybe Thursday night or and then next week. Bethany is here. Stephanie. Vancouver Island, Marilyn, Arizona. So Nis, I wish I can say everyone's names, but there's so many. I see Missouri is in the house. Illinois is here. Frida and friends, happy to be painting with everyone from, I missed it, Bremerman? Bremerman? New Mexico is here. Aaron and Penny are here and I miss the rest of the message. Sometimes it goes slow and then it just jumps and then I miss. My friend group of mine is doing a watch group with you <laughs> for our first time. Thank you, Janet. That's so awesome. Let's see if we can find the biggest group that's painting together. I know that there's a group of five ladies here in Surrey, BC. So if you're five and more, let me know. How big is your group painting with tonight? Christine is here from Tabor, Alberta. My favorite is, uh, my favorite thing I got today is someone did, has done this painting three times already and she's doing it tonight for the fourth time. So I hope you share. Um, she sent it privately, so I'm not gonna call out her name, but I hope you share so we can see all four versions of your butterfly. Our Genesis, they are seven. Yes, I love that. Trinidad and Tobago. Hello, Alison. Nice to see you here. Quebec is in the house. Claudia, welcome, welcome. Mississippi is in the house. And I think it was Donna. New Brunswick. What size canvas? Whatever size you want to use. I am on a 12 by 16 stretched canvas. Just making sure everything is working. I have my, um, I have my computer on backup. Last week while we were painting, the iPad broke halfway through. It took me two days to get it working again. I'm not sure what was up, but it seems to be fine right now. Love to see where everyone's from. So if you if you looking at you like why is she staring? I'm just looking at everyone coming in and so fabulous. Minnesota. Hello, Frida and everyone back from PA USA. Missed last week. Uh, my son had COVID. I feel like <laughs> it's not. I feel like everyone's had it the last few weeks. Every friend I speak to, they either half their staff is not at work or the family is sick or now it's just flu season. <laughs> Sheila is here from Maine. Castlegar is in the house. We'll give it another three minutes or so and then I'll run through the supplies. But you can choose any colors you want to. When I did this last year, um, we were talking about pastel, like really light colors, and someone did it in pinks and grays, 
which was absolutely beautiful with the black outline and there were um, white polka dots, but the butterfly itself was light pinks and the background was pinks and grays, beautiful. So you can do this one in so many different colors. I think I'm gonna to stick to the same colors. So the warm colors on the inside, so reds and oranges, maybe a little yellow. And then the cooler colors, there's a little bit of yellow here, but more with greens and blues on the outside. Uh, blue and purple is beautiful. So blue and purple for the outside and warmer colors where you can make purple and blue on the inside, maybe more blue here, more purple and blue, more purple on the outside. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can choose your own colors. And I loved your messages. People were nervous about drawing this one. It is really way easier than it looks. Oh, Patricia is here. How are you? She's watching in her chair. I love that. Great painting. Thank you for sharing. You are most welcome. Hello, Natalia from California. <laughs> Robert, I love the, play the fires over there. Northern California is here too, Jamie. Diana is here from Mount Washington. Winnipeg is here. Are you guys ready? Let's run through the art supplies and the brushes. I'm gonna get rid of that banner over there. All right, I am just slowly gonna go through all the supplies. So you need paper towels or a towel or something to wipe down your brush. I have a little, uh, cup here with water. I have a palette. I use those palette books um, for my paint. I am using a box canvas, a stretch canvas, and this is a 11, no, uh, 12 by 16. That's the size. That one's also 12 by 16. And then my brushes are a bigger full bit brush. I might try my new brushes. Bigger fulbit for the bigger areas. I have a medium fulbit here. Um, if you have flat brushes, that works too. And then I use my size six round for the outlines. So those are my brushes. So you need a bigger brush for the background. I bought these today. I'm not sure, maybe I won't try them tonight, but Michael's had these on sale. And I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Like, I'm sure many of you understand what I go through when you go into Michael's and paintbrushes are on sale. All right, so for paint colors, you definitely need black and white, unless you decide to go for lighter colors. I, I probably said this at the last painting session that I want to do this one in brown. So if you're using uh, browns and beige and like earthy colors instead of using black you can use uh, burnt umber or really dark brown but I'm going to stick to black and white and then whatever colors you want to use for the center I am going to use my bright red or my fire red this one my really crazy red I am going to use some orange I have chrome orange, whatever orange you have will work. Oh, Michael stores have no stock. That's very sad. We went through a really rough stage at one point where there was, I was concerned about getting canvases and then they filled right up again. They, they don't have easels. <laughs> I need a few more easels. Bella is back. How are you? My husband is in Arkansas and I'm in Texas and we're doing it together. D, that is so awesome. I love that. Date night. Apart but together, right? I'm from frozen Wisconsin. We defrosted a little bit here in British Columbia. I'm very happy. A little yellow, really bright yellow. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow in the background too. I'm going to show you how to blend all these colors together. It's very testing, but a lot of fun to do. If you asked a question, just, um, and I missed it, just ask again. Some, 
we have a great community here. So either myself, if I missed it, someone else will answer to you. Amir is here. How are you, Amir? Nice to see you again. Ready for my Tuesday night painting class. I love that. I love that I get messages from people that make a point. They make the time to do this. I do get lots of, mes lots of messages from people that are saying, I keep missing it. You have to put it in your schedule. Um, I poured some emerald green there, and now I'm going to pour some phthalo blue. Can we view these later if we can't paint right now? Uh, Kirsten, this stays on my Facebook page for 24 hours, and I have a paint night at home membership. This is the website where you can find it. All the videos then move there uh, to the, for the members to access. So... 24 hours on Facebook. So if you can't do today, you still have time tomorrow. And as long as we're in the pandemic, I'll be doing these free classes. I've been doing it for almost two years. All right, and a little black. I almost forgot the black. Fellow blue and black. So if you want to throw in some purple there, pour some purple. I might need more black, but I'll grab some later. So this is... I, and I'm known to pour just too much paint, but that's my palette. Righty. Uh, Chris, the owl is not. I have put it together and done the editing. I just need to upload it. So probably in the next week or two, you'll see it in the online school available for sale. Um, if anyone wants to see the owl she's referring to, it's beautiful. It is um, listed under my events, under the events on my Facebook page. First time doing an online class. All right. I love that. Are you guys ready? Are we ready to paint? <laughs> so before we start, um, I want you to let go of all your expectations of how I'm going to teach or how this is going to be. Uh, this morning, someone asked me a question and they asked me, um, who, who do you follow or how do you want to do things in my business? Who, uh, if you could be like anyone, who would it be? And I'm like, oh, I don't know because I just do my own thing. So you might expect something because you follow other artists or you have an art teacher, but I do things a little differently. So be open to just have fun. The same with the painting, especially those who are here for the first time. I guide you step by step to do the painting, but each one has their own style and each one um, has their own product. So I don't know what you have each one. Like we're, we're all going to do the same painting. We're all getting the same instructions, but afterwards I post a photo, a little selfie of myself. And I invite everyone to my Facebook page to come and post their photos. And it is amazing to scroll through there and see how different everyone's paintings is. If you want to see something amazing last week's painting, when we did the sailboats, um, when we did this painting last week, uh, go look at everyone's photos. They were amazing. I caught myself again today just, just scrolling through the photos. They are absolutely beautiful. It's so nice to see that people that have never painted before, some, I just saw a message, been on the membership for more than a year. Um, Amir, yes. Oh, I remember the painting um, from 2021. I saw a message from someone that said they've been in the membership for more than a year and absolutely love it. But um, these are the paintings that's in the membership too. And it's fun to see how people painted a year ago up till now. It's so much fun. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, but I post a selfie afterwards and then you can come and share your photo and everyone can see how, what everyone's done. It's really cool. Right, so we're going to start off, I'm not going to talk much more. We're going to start off with drawing the butterfly. So you got to take a deep breath. And let's start. So you're going to wet your brush. Have you decided on the color that you are going to uh, paint your butterfly? You can choose any colors you want to. 
Have you decided what colors you're going to use for the background? So when we start drawing our butterfly, I am going to use the colors that I'm going to use in my wings. So I'm going to go maybe with the red and draw my whole butterfly with the red paint. So I'm going to start off with that. Right, well, I'm going to draw the wings with the red. Wet your brush and I'm going to pick up some red paint. Picking up some red. I just kind of dab right into the paint like that, just on the side, push down with your brush so the bristles open up, it goes like that. And that's how it grabs the paint. Roll so the, uh, the bristles go all together like that. And then we're gonna start drawing. Right, take another deep breath. <laughs> we're gonna start at the bottom here. So, um, if you break your canvas in half like that and then break it in half again and you have this little quarter here you want to make a, a little mark right in the middle of it see how i break up my canvas and that's right in the middle kind of slightly angled All right and then we're going to go up you're going to go up and you're going to go around like this and you're going to come back down right here so what I like to do is kind of do it in the air first. I am shaking a bit today, so my lights might be squiggly. You don't have to do them squiggly because mine's all squiggly, but you're gonna go up like this, around, and then come back down again. That's this part over here. Take a deep breath, and then we're gonna go up, and it's slightly curved. Don't go straight. Try and keep it slightly curved. Go up, around, and then come back down again. See how squiggly that is? Yours doesn't have to be that squiggly. It can be straight. I have a bit of a trimmer and some days are better than others, but paint, I will paint. Can this be watched later? Yes, it can. This is the first class with this lady I paint but I'm watching tonight. I paint all afternoon today. Oh, Linda, that's so neat that you could paint all day. All right, so you go up, it's slightly curved, come around, and now we're gonna do the second part and you're gonna go all the way up. You're gonna go, you don't have to start at the bottom, kind of start somewhere here. You're gonna come to this corner, you're gonna go up and then you're gonna go round it and you're gonna curve it in and then go back here. So you want to leave some space to squeeze this in. See this little bit here? I squeezed it in later, but most times my butterfly just had that part, but sometimes I see an extra spot and then I squeeze it just in there. Right, so we're going to go up, curl, curve it in here, and then go back down again. Where this one, this height here, that's when you start going back. Right, so roll your brush in the paint, take a deep breath. I'm going to start somewhere here. I'm going to go up like this curve and then go in a little bit, go out and then connect it there. If you want, you can do it in the air first, kind of figure out where you want it to be and then you just draw. Don't forget to breathe. Angie, when you are done, when I am done here with this painting, I post it so you can go back to my Facebook page. You'll see all the tabs at the top and you can find the one that says live or video and then click on that and then you'll find it there. And it stays there for 24 hours. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's do the next one. I'm gonna go for this bottom part here. Starting just somewhere around here, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go back to the butterfly there. So now looking at your butterfly, you might see that it's too high. Maybe you have space at the bottom. I still have space, so I drew in another piece. 
If you need to do that, you can do that. If you also very similar to mine tonight, I'm going to paint the body here a little later. So I, I'm not concerned to fit in another piece there, but that's kind of what you want. Sandra, that's awesome. Lots of people paint the next day because I know that uh, for those in the east, it's already nine or nine thirty. It's a late start. You are a trooper. Thank you, Vicky. Are you talking to me? <laughs> um, Angie, if you are in my membership, uh, you have access to more than 130 and growing paintings. And um it's like netflix so as soon as you sign up you have access to all of them but this won't stay on facebook for longer it stays on here for 24 hours oh kasha i hope you feel better she's not painting tonight oh tony says it's 10, 10 p.m i know it's late for some people i have no idea Kay. I love this. Uh, tell us to breathe. Yes, Robin, it's necessary. <laughs> K-Dogs in the house had a migraine or oh, a migraine. Sorry, I say migraine. I'm from Africa all day. So I'm heading back to bed. You go sleep, girl. I did that. Yes, you heard it. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> all right. So how much is membership? The membership is 19 Canadian a month. If you're in the States, I think it comes to 15, uh, $15 and 12 cents, I think. And you instantly have access to all the paintings. Can I use neon orange? Sheila, you can use anything. I think neon orange will be amazing. All right, so now that it's painted, we're going to add the um, these little bits on the inside here. So back to my red paint. And you're going to do these little smaller loops in there. So sometimes I do two in here, sometimes I do three. It looks like I just need two in this one. So you can look at yours and see if you need two or three. So this is what I'm talking about, adding it in the middle. Something like that. This is going to be black. And we might change this shape. I really feel like I can bring it out a little bit later, but I'll do that when I do the black. And then I'm going to do this one. You're going to go on the side here, and then you're going to do a curly curl, just a curved line. And then you're going to go back here, bring it together like that. A little loop like that. So inside here, you're painting a bunch of loops. I'm going to do another one. And making it bring it all back together, kind of follow this line here. And if you're doing this, and you kind of end too soon, not too soon, but if you kind of end here, it's all good. Just take the next one further now. I like to leave big spaces for the black on the side here. This one's going to be a little shorter. Kind of following this line again and bring it together. Don't forget to breathe. I'm going to make one a little bit bigger and bring it in. Can you see what I'm doing? Just fill up the insides. Don't rush because I'm moving along. Just take your time doing it. Some people do it in pencil before they do it in paint. I just jump in. If you paint with me, you know that there's very little pencil involved when I do this. And then I'm going to fill this one up. I think also just two of them will be enough. So yours might be much bigger. You decided that you want thinner lines. I'm 
And that's what you got to sit with right now. Bunch of lines. I know sometimes it's um, it's strange. It looks a little strange, but it all comes together. I love how you divided into quadrants. Great explanation for the first time watching you. You oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Liz. Can you guys still see me? love how your show much easier is all right so i think youtube's having an issue facebook seems to be fine i hope it's reconnecting all right totally see you from youtube okay i'm just gonna ignore uh, what's happening on my screens over there all right let's move on we're going to paint the background i like to play with a lot of color when i do the background um you can see i have some green going on i have um, some blue down the side if you um spilled some paint anywhere you can just use a little bit of white paint to go over it kind of cover it Is there any lines you don't want? You can go and cover it with a little bit of white paint. But we're going to start off with the background. Make sure that your lines are dry. If you're going to go with your background color and you're going to touch this, it's going to blend into the background color. Sometimes that's nice, it really works, but sometimes not. So uh, we're going to go big brush. I am going to start off with a little bit of yellow and green on my brush. Oh, and a little bit of white paint. Wait your brush. Tap, tap on your paper towel. I'm going to go a little white, a little green, and some yellow. Just like that. Just play a little bit. As I move on, I'm going to change up the colors. And I'm going to work my way this way around and then come back down here. Right. So starting right here, I'm going to start off with some green and white and I'm going to jump into very little blue. My blue goes really far. Um, so very little blue on my brush, still with all the green. I'm going to go right under it and start blending that together. So the more you move your brush, the more the colors will blend together. Less movement, it will be more uh, streaky. So if you like it streaky, then uh, less movement, be loose with your brush. If you want it more blended, keep moving your brush. So how green do I want it? Do I want it more blue? I am just rubbing the colors right into the canvas. A little bit more blue and white. Blue and white on my brush, right at the bottom here. Don't worry about this. I'm going to show you how I bring it all together to blend that together. So I'm going to work my way this way. A little green, a little white on my brush, going around here. I'm checking. It feels like my red is dry, so I can go right up to the lines. This is later going to be black, so I can go right up to the red lines. Keep moving your brush. I pick up very little paint at a time. 
when I get to where there's already paint, it's a much softer brush stroke. And when I'm applying the paint, you can see how the bristles bend over. But as soon as I bring colors together, then it's a much softer brush stroke. I think I want to go a little bit more blue here. So I'm picking up some white, picking up some blue. I don't mix the colors on my palette. I just kind of put it on here and see what happens. A lot more blue. I keep blending. There's lots of green in between. So when I push down, I pick up some of that green. And your colors might be completely different. And then when I get here, it will be a softer brush stroke. So I'm putting down the paint and here much softer as I blend these together. And that's how I play with the colors. So normally when I blend colors like this together, if you look at your color wheel, I don't have one close by. If you're wondering what colors are going to make mud, colors that are next to each other blend well together. So if you're using yellow and orange, they're next to each other on the color wheel, they'll blend together. But yellow and um, yellow and blue or red and blue will look different than um, they'll mix purple, actually. But colors that are across from each other on the um, color wheel will make mud. Yes, uh, Michael, harder when you apply the paint and then softer when you bring the two together. Liz, this is acrylic paint. Acrylics, I love my acrylics. Have fun when you do this. Um, don't forget to breathe, play with lots of color. You can change your mind too if you're doing this and you think, oh, you know what, I want to throw in a little purple. Go pick up the purple and add a little purple in there. I want to add a little bit of white up here. Go a little lighter. Go right up to, right up to your lines. You want to cover the whole canvas. I'm going to go a little bit whiter and then start picking up some green and get back to this color at the bottom as I work. Going lighter, and now I'm going to pick up some green and white. And you might be doing this with purples, any colors you want to. See how I bring it together with a much softer brush stroke? And if it's your first time doing this, don't be too hard on yourself. It gets fun to play like this, but have no expectation. Kind of let it be an adventure of discovery. Just, just paint. Let's see what happens. If anyone asks, you just tell them, I planned it like that. Whatever happens, it's all good. The more you paint, the more you blend, you'll get better and better at blending colors. And again here, Oh, my white's coming through that I painted there. Can you see it? My little red dot. Uh, when I bring these two together, it's again that softer brush stroke. See how I bring the wet and the dry together? Just a softer kind of sweep with the brush. The bristles aren't even really bending over. I'll put one of my little twirlies on my little dot there. And if you have a box canvas like me, 
uh, paint the edges too. Take these colors around. I don't do it because I keep picking it, picking it up. You can see I'm already full of paint here. But um, you can wrap the picture around the sides. This one, I painted it all black on the edges. So it kind of frames the picture. It looks really neat with the black around the edge instead of colors. But it's up to you. You can do, you can do anything you want to. Here's a question. Patricia wants to know if everyone's breathing. <laughs> uh, do you teach acrylics? Yes, I do. I love it, Patricia. You can do that every time. Between you and Rhonda, you help me remind everyone to breathe. Um, did I say thank you, Michael? Yes, the video stays on for uh, 24 hours. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. No, always 6 p.m. on a Tuesday. Well, 6 p.m. Vancouver, BC. Such a gentle hand with the brush. <laughs> Always. A gentle, shaky hand. But it works. All right, now my painting is much lighter today. See how vibrant the colors were on this one? And I'm much lighter. So, um, You'll see that if you do, if you paint a lot, especially if you're painting on your own and not really following and your mood really shows in your paintings. I've been outdoors a lot this last few days. I think I'm releasing some stress. I almost dunked my brush in my mac and cheese. <laughs> I've done that. I've done it into ribs while I was eating, but it was funny. Yeah, I paint and eat. <laughs> 8 p.m. in Texas. Rhonda says, everyone, a nice big breath now. Don't rush because I'm done. I'll give you another minute or so, and then we'll start with the blending um, inside the rings. This is so much fun to do. You guys are going to love it. Uh, Sharon says it is uh, 1 p.m. in Melbourne, Australia. So Sharon, is uh, Wednesday a good day? You're there already. You can tell us. <laughs> 9 p.m. in Ohio. Yay. I have to say, I feel like it's 9 p.m. I'm a little tired today. The paint seems to stay wet. Uh, the paint seems to stay wet quite a while. Are you using an extender? My paint dries so fast. Uh, no, my paint's already dry. This is already dry. Does it look really wet? It also depends in the room that you're in. So I find that um, actually in here it dries a little faster because I'm in a smaller room and the vent's on all the time now that it's so cold. 6 p.m. in California. I love that I'm on the same time zone as California, or 6.30 California. It's a public holiday here in Australia. Well, that's nice. I'm going to take tomorrow off and say I am, <laughs> I am uh, in Australia. I'm celebrating with, us, with the whole of Australia. All right. How's everyone doing? Do you guys want to uh, move on? If you are ready, just type ready and then we'll move on. Australia Day, yay. Do you guys have a Barbie on Australia Day? It's summer there, right? What month are we in? January, yes, it would be nice and warm there. I see readies. Oh my gosh, you guys are ready. I love that. Um, there's a really good tip here from Angeline, mist with water on a spray bottle. So if you find your paint is drying really fast, there's, um, have a mist spray bottle is really neat. Oh gosh, I love that you guys want to move on. We're changing brushes. We're going to go a little smaller. I'm going to use a medium brush. Another way to help with, um, a canvas that dries really fast before you start painting 
use a big brush and just go with some water over your canvas so that it's um, just damp. You don't want you don't want water running down. Just kind of brush with water on the canvas and then you start painting. That helps too. But you don't want that much water. So if you do lines like that, that the paint starts running, just a damp canvas. And then having a spray bottle, you can spray on your on your palette and on your canvas. But again, very little. If you spray the canvas, um, the chances are the paint's going to run. Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, it's a heat wave here. Bobby with friends this oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, so um, doing doing these little pieces in the middle here, I like to play with two colors when I do these. I'm going to show you in this nice big one over here. I'm going to use some orange and red, and I'm using my medium-sized brush. I already wet my brush, tap, tap, just on the paper towel. And I'm going to show you how I blend with the colors. I'm going to go with orange, and you're going to paint right on top of your lines. We're going to do the black later. Putting down some orange, lots of orange paint, like that. I'm not washing my brush, I am just wiping it, not washing it, just wipe. Picking up some red, painting right next to the orange, like that right next to it see the line wash my brush give it a good dry and then with a clean dry brush i'm going to blend these two together you have to move quite fast here i'm going to go into the orange and then into the red rub it over there rub rub and that's how i blend my colors together like that and if i keep going I can even have a softer blend. So the more you move your brush, the more it blends together, less movement, you'll have more of a line. See how the line's busy disappearing? Oh my gosh, I'm giving a go at painting a rock. This is so much fun with the, with the rocks and the blending. I love it when you use a tiny brush on the a texture of the rock and you blend it together and some little areas are darker than others. All right, wasn't that fun? Look at that. All right, I'm going to do one with some yellow and then the red at the top. And it's going to look very similar to that one there. So I'm going to do some yellow like this. Lots. I'm going right onto my lines. Yellow. Wipe my brush, pick up some red, go right above that. And this is what you're going to do with all these little pieces. So the red is much stronger than the yellow. The yellow is very uh, translucent. So I'm going to lose a lot of the yellow, but you can see how how neat it blends together. So they're both still really wet. You've got to move fast here. I'm going to go into the red and then back into the yellow. Into the red, back into the yellow. If you want lots of yellow, I would do the whole thing in, in yellow and then maybe just the corner in red and then blend in the red. You can see how the red is just taking over um, the yellow paint there. Wipe your brush. If there's lots of paint, keep wiping your brush if you feel like it's just dragging too far. And the more you paint with your paints and you're um, doing this, you'll get to know better how it reacts when you blend like that. I just want that little bit of yellow there. I'll do another one. I'm going to play with more red, maybe red at the bottom, more orange. And I go right onto my lines, wipe that up, go with some orange.
And you don't have to make them all two colors. They can be more solid. It's up to you. I really like that one. Isn't that fun? And, and this is so much fun if you use um, purple, white, and blue. So much fun. How's everyone doing? Are you having fun blending? This is a very awesome mindfulness. You can turn my sound off a little bit and just blend away, turn up your music, take a sip of whatever you're drinking. Hello, Pam. I did not see your message. There are so many messages coming in. And if you are still blending at something else, um, don't rush. I post the photo afterwards and um, I sorry, I post the video afterwards. So just keep blending away. If I'm moving on into the black and you're still blending, just enjoy afterwards. When I post the video, you'll be able to go back to where you were and then you can skip forward and pause and do whatever you want. During the live, I don't think um, you can pause or go back. If you can go forward, please let me know how the painting turns out. I'd like to know, but um, yeah, don't rush. That's all I want to say. Brisbane, Australia, 1230 here. And yes, it's summer. Uh, just raining at the moment for our national public holiday might have a barbecue later for dinner or is the rain is yes i'm going to a new place tomorrow and i will be able to paint again. Oh, Pam, I'm glad that you'll be able to paint again. Dave and Vicky is ready on YouTube. Your blending on this one is awesome. Thank you. All right, so let me blend away on these. Um, maybe I'll throw in a little bit of white. I don't know. See, I have a little bit of white in here and it gives me a slightly pink in there. So finish up the whole, all these little areas and then we're going to move on to, on to the black. I really enjoy the black. It makes this painting pop. It's my favorite part when I paint in the studio with um, a group of people. Every painting has this magic moment. On the most of the Christmas painting, it's as soon as we add the snowflakes. If we do um, birch trees, it's when we make those uh, black markings in the trees. Uh, with this one, it's when we start adding the black and then the whole room is just a buzz and everyone's just loving their paintings. It's pretty neat. I feel very privileged that I I get to do this and see the joy uh, painting brings people. It's such a such a simple, easy, fun thing to do. We just need to do it more. Less, we have big discussions in the Facebook group about less dusting, more painting. <laughs> and if you're waiting to get into the Facebook group, I could not let more people in today. So tomorrow I will let more people in. This is such a lovely, relaxing Painting, super easy and relaxing, especially listening to the rain on our roof, Renee. That is amazing. Thank you, Sue. All right, so I'm going to do one with more yellow in it. I really like the warm yellow colors. My brush has so much red on it. <laughs> it turned out orange, but I like it. Oh, it just goes so well.
don't forget to breathe is the facebook group free yes the facebook group is free Sydney says um your painting is amazing i'm a beginner artist and my painting is doing so well i'm so glad to hear that sydney um what's the cost in oz for lessons so i don't do lessons but i have an online school uh, later on i can i can let you know uh, sharon i'll i'll let you know <laughs> but you can also google just convert um how much is so I have a membership that's 19 Canadian and I have single videos that's $12 Canadian. So you can either just buy the video that you want or you can sign up for the membership, but then you have access to loads of videos. It's like Netflix. It's really neat. I get messages all day, every day from people in the membership. Um, this week alone, I think, I think about 13 people painted Sunday afternoon. Um, it's a really neat painting. And I love that I get the messages with people sending me photos of that painting. It's this kind of, you almost feel like you're lying in the grass and looking up and you just have this field of flowers around you. It's a really neat painting. See if I can fix that crooked line there. So anyone else with um, a movement disorder out there painting with tonight? I know that there's a few people with Parkinson's that paint with me. We're a whole bunch with essential tremor. That looks a little better. It's still a little skew, but I can live with that. <laughs> I think I'm done with that. How's everyone else doing? Are you blending away? Debbie Parkinson's, Lynette says me. Oh, Michelle has, I'm not going to say that. And does that also cause a tremor? I have MTD. Just enjoy watching you paint first. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. There's a lot of people, they call it the Frida show. <laughs> They're here to watch the Frida show and then they paint later or they share. The brushes you use for acrylic, is it different to watercolor brushes? Sharon, yes. So watercolor brushes are really soft and um, it's almost like real hair, very soft. And these are much firmer. And when you go shopping for brushes, you look for, I can actually show you what you use for acrylic and oil. These ones, they are good for acrylic paints. I have essential trimmer. There you go, Judy. And I'm glad you're here painting with. <laughs> I have trimmers on my uh, from my chemo. Pretty annoying. Yes, it is so annoying. It's quite a thing when you have um, when you're trying to eat and everything falls off the fork. My family mock me, but it's okay. I love them. <laughs> it's a joke around the dinner table. And I'm not allowed to take anyone their coffee because I just spill. Enjoy watching you with my apple cinnamon scented candle going. Very la relaxing fun. That's awesome, Michael. <laughs> apple cinnamon, it's my favorite. Yes, well, watercolor, for, um, watercolor first, then acrylic. Oh, I can't wait to see, sis. 
um, often my pain, but this helps calm the muscles. Yes, then my muscles start to do their own thing. At one stage, I relaxed. When I relaxed too much, my hand would just do its own thing. When you're ready to move on, just type in ready, and then we're gonna start with the black. That one's gonna need a few deep breaths. <laughs> I have sciatic. Oh, I'm not gonna say that, arthritis, like rheumatoid, and have little use of my hands. Some fingers are fused straight, but I love doing these classes. I love it, Lisa. I am new, but feel welcome here. You are so welcome. Oh, I love all the readies. Oh my God, you guys are the bomb. Okay, let's, I'm gonna move on. If you are blending away, don't rush, just breathe, do your own thing. Um, later on, I post the video and then you'll be able to skip, go back, and it stays on here until tomorrow, 6 p.m. And then it moves to the membership. All right, so I am, using my small round brush again we're going to go into the black paint when i do um use my black paint which is a heavy body acrylic paint i thin it out with a little bit of water if you're using a craft paint so if you pick up your palette and it's running down your palette you don't need to do this but if you have black paint that sits like that you can thin it out a little bit it just makes the lines go a little easier my brush is getting a little old here. You can see how the bristles separate. And when the bristles do that, using a wetter paint, a more fluid paint, it also brings the bristles um, together. But it is time for a new brush. Hence the new ones I bought today. I knew I had to buy them. Anyway, I am thinning out my paint, a little bit of water, and I'm thinning it out. Just see how I'm dragging in black paint into that puddle of water, I'm mixing it up. When you pick up your brush and it forms a drop, it is too much water, you need more paint. So then just roll your brush into the paint. I don't see a drop, so I'm ready to go. And if you fill up all the hair, see how much paint is on there? When I start dragging, I can do longer lines Lots of people think when they have to do thin lines, just paint on the tip of the brush. If you just have paint on the tip of the brush, you're going to do really short lines. So you want to fill up your brush and then just use the tip of the brush. So when I push down, I can get really thick lines. But if I just use the tip, I can get a really thin line. It's squiggly, but it's thin. All right, so tip of the brush gives you thin. Pushing down, you can get a thick line. So you can decide as you do the lines. How do you want to do your lines? You guys ready? All right, take another deep breath. Can you see how thick that line is at the end? The first one here, that's where I start. Doesn't have to be that thick. Probably is gonna be, we'll see how I go. Hold on. This is a new sweater. Let's not get paint on it. All right. I'm going to start over here. You can start at the bottom there, but I find it easier going this way around. I'm going to go down like that and take it all the way there. We're going to go all the way around, then we'll come and reshape this and paint in our little body. Can you see the difference already? I see your messages and I'll come back to them. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I'm going to come back to your messages. My wings look like sunflowers and I love them. Sydney, I can't wait to see you have to come to Facebook and please come and share your photo or send it to me. All right, so I'm going to go all the way around here. All the way around like that. I'm going to go around this one here. I'm going to try and stay on that line. I can still see my line going down like that. See how I'm running out of paint? I'm going to come back and fill that up. Go around here. I'm going to paint all of this black. See how I push down with my brush? 
so easy. And spread out that black. I only picked up black twice and I'm able to paint all of this black. Black paint goes really far. Look at that. Isn't that amazing what the black does to the whole thing? Don't forget to breathe. Oh, Erica, yes, and the comments stay on. So even if I move the video, so what I do is I clip this video at the end of the um, at the session. So you'll be able to even go through all the comments and share that with your mom. I know that there are people who sit right next to their moms. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> anyway, with um, a tray right on her mom's lap and hold her mom's hand while her mom paints with her. So tell your mom to come paint with us. Need to get the correct brushes. Mine is not fine enough. If you have a flat brush, let me show you. I am going to use, we'll use one of these, oops. If you're struggling to do the lines with a, um, with a bigger brush like this, or with a small round, um, this one's really big, but if you have a smaller flat brush, you can you do thinner lines with a brush like this too. See what big brush, make it flat. And you can do thin lines with a brush like this too. And you should be able to go around a corner like that. A little, but there you go. So if you're struggling with your round brush or the bristles open up, try a flat brush and see if you can do it with this, with that. Um, focused ultrasound. Oh, Jack, that's neat. You have to share more. <laughs> Can we see an entirely later? Yes, um, for 24 hours though. So I do the free paint nights every Tuesday. And they stay on Facebook for uh, uh, 24 hours and then I move them onto a membership where you can see it with hundreds of other videos. Love that about moms, right? It's so amazing. Can we see? Oh, I got that. Um, Yes, bits are great for rounded edges. Thank you for the flat. Oh, flat brush works much better. Yes, if you have one of those that's angled, they work well too. Like the angled brushes. Like take some time um, and go sit with your brushes and really play. A lot of people jump in and they, they do paintings, um, which is great. You learn so much through every single painting you do, but take some time and before the class start or um, in between, just uh, do a few brush strokes with your brushes to see how, what you can do with them. All right. See how I'm going all the way around here. I can still see my lines, so I'm just going to follow those all the way down. Isn't that neat? I just love adding the black. It just finishes this one off. And I was talking about the pastel pink painting. I think someone also did pastel pinks and grays and then used silver in the little, in these little buttons here, used silver, or maybe it was here, I can't remember, but that was so neat. You can bring in some gold if you want to. Yeah. 
I'm just going to do these bits for now so I can paint all the black in. Come and work on those later. So here and there, you can leave some of that um, areas not drawn if you want to, or you can drag them all down. all coming together the black and water yes I can so I go from my water and uh, my little container of water you can see there's still lots of water on here and then I just mix in my black paint the thicker black paint with the water and it's as if it's like an inconsistency you just want it to be a really thin dark black but when you lift your brush you don't want it to form a drop at the tip of the brush if it forms a drop and you put it on your canvas it's going to run down your canvas so you want to go back fill it up roll your brush to get all the bristles back together and then you can draw it out yes i think this one would look neat as a stained glass um, piece how's everyone doing are you guys breathing this one's hard work <laughs> May this be the toughest thing you do this week. May everything else be way easier. And if this is the toughest thing, you're having a good week. <laughs> I'm going to use a bigger brush to paint that in there. Easy as that. So fun. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I had a great time learning many ideas. Oh, you're welcome, Maria. Um, the black caused all the color to pop, even the background. Love it. I'm so glad to read that. I told you guys, the, the black is that magic moment for this painting. It is so neat. See these little lines here I add, it's always like little pleads that I add into the wings. So I'm gonna, and I'll use my big brush to show you how I do it with this one. So you can use your liner brush or you can use a, um, a flat brush and I just add these little lines and they're, so what I do is I kind of flick the brush and I do a slight little curve in there. And what happens when you do that, when there's a slight curve, it gives the, um, the wing doesn't look that flat. It actually looks a little puffy. Not too many, just a few. Like that. I moved some black paint, but that's okay. I'm out of paper towel in this room. Pretty hearts from Pam. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> uh, 
Um, the program I'm using, I don't see if you're sending hearts. So thank you if you are sending hearts. Oh my God, it looks incredible. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so fun. You are welcome. Um, Oh, thank you, Rhonda. While you are busy with your black, I'm going to talk about this little body here. And I have to tell you, every time I do mine, they look a little different. The main thing is you want a squiggly little body and you want um, to do the little head. And I do the little tentacles like that with the same black paint and the same brush. I create little twirls and sometimes I do these little circles like that um, and you can start adding in those while you're busy with the black and then we're going to come back here and add all the dots and all of that in. So while you're busy with the black we're doing this part and all the little twirls. Same brush, same paint. So what I do is, I normally do a little squiggly line that goes like this. I don't rush if you're not there. Something like that. And then I go make it a little bigger. Like that. And then I give it a little bit, like a circle here. And some tentacles. Let's see if I can do this. I'm impressed. I like to make two little dots at the end here. Remember when you push down with a brush you get thick lines, just the tip you can get smaller lines. Looks looks okay. <laughs> what do you think? And then I kind of look at my canvas and see where I want to do some twirls or some, some little circles. Sometimes I'm not sure what I want to do. And then I just copy my old paintings. So you can, you can do whatever you want. I like to just add a few lines onto the painting. I like those three little circles I did. I don't know what they represent, but we'll add them again. <laughs> I think that's enough. Antennas. <laughs> I love it. Love your paint palette. Would love to see. Oh, you paint flowers, I think. Yes. Do you see these beautiful roses back here? That's the latest painting that went into the um, membership. So neat. Right. Make sure your brush is clean and dry. I'm going to move on, but don't rush if you're not there. Um, I'll be posting the video in about 10 minutes so you'll be able to go back. How to do the perfect little dots. Vicky, yes, I'll show you. <laughs> So these little circles that you see over here, those are the colors that's on your palette and you're going to, um, you can add a, any colors you want to, but just make them slightly different to the color that's um, in the wing. So on this one, I'm going to go a really red one. But again, it's one of those moments you paint it 
and it looks okay but as soon as you put the black around it it's just it's lovely i'm gonna do this one so my yellow and orange is a little translucent so if i want to do an orange one here i have to add a little bit of white paint to the um to it so if you're doing this and they're not really showing up you can still make them but the the circle in black the outline will make it pop see how that one doesn't really show up there adding i'm going to add a little white to it but doing the the um, circle around it will bring it out that works for me let's do a, another big one here I think I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do those. I just have a few there. No rushing, friends. Just breathe. Thank you, Rhonda. Yes. No rushing, just breathing. And I'm going to go around. Oh, see, I need a little bit more black paint here. But we'll worry about that later. makes it pop doing the little circle around it i am not going to attempt those they are too small for this shaky hand tonight maybe i'll finish it tomorrow but you're going to do circles like that around and then we're going to move on to the white dots So I bought this today. It's the first time I'm using it. It is called Metallic White from Michael's Artist Loft. And if you look at the side of your um, paint bottle, see over here the little block? That indicates that it's opaque. So if it's solid like that, it means that it's not, um, it's opaque. The other white paint that I normally buy, the titanium, has a line through it. So half the little block is uh, white and the other half is marked black. And that's because it's slightly translucent. So if you're buying paint and you want to know if the paint's very translucent, you look for little icons like that, like that little block on your paint. So you'll know. I don't think these ones have them, but um, the artist loft and the Liquitex they have them on there. See, this is my brown and it's also a solid little block. All right, doing the white. Make sure your brush is clean. And I do the big ones first. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this painting's not done and I bet you didn't notice that. <laughs> so you do the big ones first. And then you go back and you go put in all the small little ones, as many as you want. And you can go as far in as you want to. I did some dots on this side. Oh, I even added dots there. But it starts off looking like that. And then you fill up the little spaces with smaller dots like that. All right, so I'm going to start off with the white paint. Michael says he's never heard of that. I only found it out. I don't know, two years in my painting um, career, if I can call it like that. I was just always wondering. I thought it was like bad quality paint. No. <laughs> See, that's the thing. When, you, when you're self-taught, you learn the hard way. All right. So I'm going to start it with some big circles. I use that. And then I just go round and round. Well, I don't think that paint's very opaque. It's quite see-through. All right, so you're gonna, I'm probably gonna do two coats here. So do your big ones, don't overthink it. If you can squeeze it in, then just do it. And they are all not very round. I'm gonna try my other white paint. You can see on there. They are not all very round, so some of them have little dents in them. When you paint them, you want to be really hard on yourself and really make them very round, but let's see what the other paint does. 
quite often I have to do two coats with my paints. Oh, they're both the same. <laughs> I'm really bad tonight. Yours could be much rounder. And then I'm going to go a little smaller. As this night goes on, I'm shaking more so my dots are really bad. But that's how you start off. And then you're going to start adding little dots in to fill it up. Can you see how tiny I've gone? And to help with those, I use the back end of my brush. You can see um, how much paint is on there. So I'll do some over here. Fill up my brush, the back end, and then I just dot that onto the open areas just to fill it up. And that is how you do all the little dots. Isn't that fun? And breathe, turn off all the cell phones and the TV and my video, and then just sit and dot away on all your little dots. So here I go, um, to make them from go from bigger to smaller, I would paint this one and then dunk the back end of a bigger brush. And as you dot, it will become smaller and smaller. So do a row of dots. And you can practice on your palette to see if that, that works for you. But that is your class for tonight. Isn't that awesome? What background color for purple, blue, butterfly? Hold on. I saw my, um, I was looking for it earlier, but I found it. So if you look at your color wheel, the complementary color, complementary for blue, purple, would be these colors here. So blue and orange, purple, and like a yellow orange color. So you can try that. I hope you like that, but it's up to you. What about green, yellow, reds? Like this one. <laughs> Pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, what I'll do is I will post a link to the membership for those who want to learn more about it. I will post the prices in uh, US dollars, Canadian and um, Australian. Is there anyone else that needs a price so you can see exactly what it is? Please know that if you are outside of Canada, the prices will vary depending how our dollar is doing. Thank you for the class. I enjoyed it. I finished my painting. I'm so glad. I know some people can paint for hours and some just go through it with me. Can't wait to paint now. Oh, that's so neat. All right, so um, I'm gonna post a selfie. Please come and share your photos. Uh, don't hesitate to ask uh, for the about the membership. I know it's hard for people to be here every Tuesday, but with a membership, you can sign in anytime, you can paint anytime, and you can paint any picture that you wanna paint. And the, and the instructions are very similar to what you got tonight. It would probably even be much better for most videos because they are recorded in studio without a live audience so there's not all this talk um, but if you like that i also upload the live session so you still have access to those too anyway have a good night and i will see you guys next week tuesday um, be kind to yourself take care bye bye